like a grown-up. Almost there. Hidden by magic lock and key, a room that only grown-ups see. <gasps> there are secret rooms in our school? Yes, we store important documents in here. If they got mixed up, it would cause an awful lot of confusion. <laughs> we might get ordinary sticks instead of magical wands, or schedule exams instead of holidays. That's why this room is for grown-ups only. Amazing! And I thought that I knew every room in this school. Don't forget to water the flowers in the small greenhouse! We have another greenhouse? We do, but it's off-limits to children. <sighs> off-limits to children? I wonder what interesting things they keep there. Rare plants in the greenhouse, ancient spells in the records room. <sighs> if only we were grown-ups. I do need a refresher on the verbs. Is it ne ie or ne ie? It's a shame if only Marlene could join us for the unicorn language course. Yes, but Marlene is the assistant principal. She can only be replaced by an adult magician. And where would we find one? Me? I could serve as the assistant principal. Or more like, assistant assistant. That is out of the question. Rather, it would be out of the question. But this is Daria. I think she could handle it. You can definitely handle this. The assistant principal doesn't have many responsibilities. Here's a short list. Hmm. Here is the assistant principal's badge and the key to the small <gasps> greenhouse. What are the flowers? But don't let the begonia get out. You'll also need to pick the ripe letters in the records room. The post squirrel will be coming for them. Um, keep an eye on the others. After all, you're in charge. And if anything goes wrong, you can take off the badge. I'll rush right back to help you. No way. I don't need any help. Hello there. I am the adult magician who will be watering you today. I hope we grow to like each other. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. I wish I'd known ya. It's fun to be grown up. Ah, are you the assistant principal? Yes, are you? The smile of the closet? No. I'm the records room, Sigh. No time to smile, only sigh. We're very serious here. Letters, invoices, reports. These all require your signature. That's it? Don't you have anything more exciting in here? Like ancient prophecies? And maybe you have a secret encyclopedia I can read? I'm old enough to read them now. <sighs> Give me a moment. The most interesting thing I have to offer you is the manual for a kettle. Like to see? Uh, uh, a report on grades. A report on the dishes. A report on reports. Oh, how exciting! We received an invitation to the Songbirds concert. We must respond quickly. They need a list of who will be attending the concert. <sighs> okay, so we have Rooney, Dorma, Vasco, Levan. <gasps> the Begonia! How did it get out? How does Marlene handle this thing? Let me check the manual. Uh -huh. If the Begonia escapes, pour the anti-growth elixir from the red bottle on it. a mistake, but I fixed it. Like a grown-up. Not to mention, I took care of the documents. I barely got the letters to the boss squirrel. Too bad we won't all be going to the concert. Even though I would have loved to hear Songbird perform live. Oh, I didn't finish the response letter. I messed up again. I'm not very good at this. Oh, the Seven League Boots! Daria, Daria! Our kite got stuck and we can't get it down. Can you please help us out? Dorma, I really don't have time for that right now. Don't worry. We've got this. Wind could get it down. What about the storm spell? Oh, this is a speedy postal service. Mr. Postman, please wait for me. I really need to finish writing my letter. <sighs> and now, we can all attend. Oh, I need a break. Somebody, please help us! 
our kite back so we used to spell. But the storm got out of control. But why? We're not supposed to use magic. Doria, help us. You're the assistant principal. Well, I... I don't know what to do. Oh, being a grown-up is hard. Marlene, I need your help. Please. Spell gone wrong reverse. Thunderstorm disperse. I'm so sorry. I messed up and couldn't do anything right. That's not true, Daria. You did your very best. You were a great assistant principal. Our class can be difficult at times, even for a grown-up. Actually, I didn't like growing up so suddenly. Not like that. I'd rather take time to grow up. So for now, could I go play with everyone else, Marlene? Of course you can. <laughs> this way! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> The Newcomers. Wow, what a heroic painting. I've also got a shield like he does. Your pardon, Sir Knight. I usually summon this shield myself, but this time it appeared on its own. <clears throat> Is it broken? I hope the new boys like soccer. I hope not. I dread the notion of the three of you running around together. Don't worry, Daria. They seemed very well behaved, if you ask me. <gasps> well behaved, you say? I'll have you know. We do not walk about the hallway waving shields around here. But the shield popped out on its own. Hmm. What a lack of manners. I planted these sleeping ups over a month ago. When are they going to grow? Have you tried singing them a growing song? Yes. Watered them with the rainbow? No, not yet. <clears throat> oh. What you need is some magic for the soil. Here. Back in my village, if something didn't want to grow, they would call me. Are you sure about this? Magical herbs aren't like digging potatoes. You must be careful. Just don't ruin anything. Please be careful. No! Ah! Now you've done it. It took a whole month to grow them. Please, you have to help us sort all this out. There's nothing to sort out. We didn't want your help. But you forced it! <laughs> Watch out! <gasps> what was that for? It wasn't me! Maybe not. What about you, Levon? I didn't do anything wrong. Heroes don't randomly wave their shields around. But a hooligan would. I'm not a hooligan, I'm a hero! In training. Come now, don't argue. It is clear to me that something mysterious is happening here. Do any of you have a suggestion? Perhaps the boys have been cursed. Perhaps. Quite possible. Let's try to detect it. <laughs> Vaki has never been wrong before. There's no curse. Then it was on purpose. We were trying to help out. Oh yeah, helping? It's true. Oh, really? It's true? You did do it on purpose. Girls, you're starting a fight again. Are you sure you should? We must not make accusations before we figure this out. We're going to see Mr. Immortal. In the meantime, no more arguing. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should wait outside. We're just too dangerous for this school. We are? There, see? You're going to make the school fly away. As heroes, it's our duty to save the school from the two of us by becoming wandering wizards. Perfect. We'll wander around in search of adventures uh, and dinner. And so, the boys have gone missing? We've searched the entire school for them, Mr. Immortal. Hmm. Then we must find them immediately. Girls, stay right there. I think the 
boys must have been offended by us. Why should they be offended? It makes no sense. I don't know. What if they left because of us? Let's find them. But we were told to stay here. I agree. We should go find them. Come on. Rooney, did you find them? Not yet. Me neither. <gasps> Girls, look! I found raspberries. Dorma, we aren't here to collect raspberries. Look there, it's a floating rock. All sorts of them. Dorma, don't fall behind. But there are so many floating rocks here. <gasps> Come quickly. I found them. <gasps> what are you doing no, there? Nothing. Hey, what's wrong? Who are you talking to? The girls found us. Give me your hand. A real hero doesn't need help. <gasps> you have to leave. It's too dangerous here. Are you listening? Get out of here now! We're not leaving you. Yes, and we're sorry. We know we were wrong. Give me your hand. We'll pull you up. Hey, Bosco, let them help us. They can pull us up. <laughs> Thank you. That was very heroic of you. Look out, everyone! <laughs> Look, my magic. It's finally working again. Automatic. It is a very rare magical phenomenon. You see, it happens when a magician becomes very sad. Their magic begins to lose its precision, and that is what happened to the boys. Yes, they lost their friends and their school, so of course they were sad. Exactly, and you girls were not very hospitable to them. Tell us, Mr. Immortal, do the students at this school sleep in trees? Yes, that is correct. And it's a great idea for a surprise. Here. Oh. Make our home your home. I hereby vow to defend Wondermont as my home. I hereby call the Top Punk! <laughs> <laughs> the Favorite Toy Girls, did any of you see my teddy? Dorma, let's look for teddy tomorrow. It's time for bed. Oh, I'm ready to drop. I'll be quick. He's here somewhere. Maybe he fell. Teddy! It's late. It's time for bed now. All right. Let's see what we've got here. These belong in the museum. Ooh. I've seen you before. Are you magic? You probably belong in the museum, too. Dorma, are you still looking? I thought my teddy was here. Dorma, you are too old for toys and teddy bears. You can sleep without him. Okay. Don't worry, Teddy. I'll find you tomorrow. All right, sit here. Hooray! We're alive! It's time to play! Bless you! Let's play together! Look at what I can do! <laughs> hey! Where are you going? Fine! See ya! Ah, there's so much stuff here! That's an interesting cupboard! Wow, that's quite a trick! I want to be big too! Did you keep looking for him even at night? Yes, but then Daria woke up and said I'm too old for toys. That I should act my age and fall asleep without my teddy. I don't need him anymore. But Teddy isn't just a toy, he's my friend. We'll find him, don't worry. Mr. Immortal has a spell for finding lost things. Hey, what's wrong? Let's play circus. Look, I have a whole troop here, and you will be the main event. Why are you crying? You're tired of sitting there? Of course. Why didn't I think of that? A traveling circus. Hey, wait. We haven't taken our troop with us. Fine, I'll bring the troop. You'll get the audience. Teddy, where are you? <laughs> Teddy, he's here. And there's our audience. Prepare to be amazed by our astounding circus performance. Awesome. Where'd he come from? Maybe.
me meet the teachers did it as a surprise. Our first act is the Living Tower! I have a bad feeling about this. Taller, taller, even more! Oh, flowers! Oh, great! Oh, yeah! What a tremendous tower! Let's make it taller! It's not tremendous at all! It's going to fall on the school! No, it's not! Oh, an ice tower! What an awesome circus! What is going on? Let this bewitched being return to its original form. Oh, Marlene, form. you can't! You made him even bigger! We need to know what kind of magic brought the toy to life. Otherwise, the spell <laughs> won't work correctly. Life elixir, growth potion. So that's why there are large chess pieces and clowns walking around. Maybe they were the ones who took Teddy. La 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 Be amazed by the juggling clown extraordinaire! Watch out! This is why I don't like chess. Are you? Girls, watch out! I'm activating protection! I can't hold this much longer! I'll help you. <laughs> Leave it! Let it fall! We'll come up with something else! Hey, Sloane! Just what did you do with my teddy? I found his ribbon, so give him back! Oh, I need my teddy! He's my friend! You lost your teddy, huh? I know what to do! Marlene! If you shrink him, Dorma will fall! You are not part of my troop! All right, fine. I'll take you. You'll be our flying acrobat. Holly! We need to distract him. Hey, clown. We're artists, too. What's this? Wonderful! Train frogs. A real circus. Hey, I'm riding a horse. Nice. A round of applause. What an awesome troop we are. And finally, my act. The flying acrobat. No. To the moon. I would never guess that a simple toy could do something like that. I wish I had a friend like that. And what shall we do with him? Put him somewhere far away. The museum? Maybe it'd be better if we found him a new owner. Somebody who would play with him. Girls, I leave you alone for one day. And we end up with an entire circus outside. So, who's responsible for this mess? Oh, my clown, where did you find him? It's been so long. You are my favorite toy. <coughs> <clears throat> you see, when I was a child, this toy was my best friend. <laughs> and frankly, I'm very glad to see him again. Hello, old friend. The Seven League Boots. Rudy. You need to improve your grades. Otherwise, you'll have to retake all of your exams. All of my exams? Every single one of them. <sighs> oh dear. Now I'm even having nightmares about retaking everything. Today we are holding a magical race. To finish in first, just pick up the pace. And if you can finish ahead of the pack, then there's a good chance you won't be held back. Huh? The professor said so himself. <laughs> well, not in verse. I turned it into poetry myself. <gasps> a race? Now's my chance. If I go fast, then I can pass. Are we late or is Bruni early? I don't remember you ever coming to class before us. Is it surprising? I'll have you know that I love learning. Good morning. Let us continue our lesson on magical transportation. It's not always possible to use magic from a distance. Therefore, should someone require urgent magical intervention... Such as an emergency rescue? Precisely. In such dire situations, we use this method, the wonderful magic of transportation. Today, you are being given a rare opportunity to prove your skills and speed. Have a look outside. Oh, wow! Those boots! They're prettier than I had ever imagined. Oh? <laughs> You'll be divided into teams. Then we'll prepare the race. Uh, uh, oh? I choose a stove. It can go anywhere, and it's as fast as the wind. I'll take the Seven League Boots. If anyone knows shoes, it's me. If you'd read the chapter on aerodynamics, you'd know the flying carpet is the faster one. Perhaps, but I've flown a carpet before. I'd like to try the stove now. Uh, uh. 
Good. It seems we have our teams decided. Now, allow me to remind you of the rules. Whoever's magical transport crosses the finish line first will be awarded the highest score. And won't have to retake exams. Yes, you won't have to retake exams. Yes, okay, let's go. Here, Lisa, let me help you. Uh, oh, thank you, Rooney. Uh, What's wrong, girls? Uh, nothing. Everything's just fine. Good. Get set and go! Cut, but that breaks the rules. If we follow her, then we'll lose. We need more firewood. There's no way I'm losing this race. Gather ye toads, tools, while ye may. <laughs> Stop that! I'm sorry! I'm not doing this on purpose! The boats won't stop! Now you've done it! Run to the enchanted swamp! At least while you're stuck there, you won't be able to trample my garden! Bruni, I'm worried about Lisa. Dorma, we're so close to winning this. It's not our fault Lisa didn't train harder. I agree with the part about Lisa, but you're wrong about who will win. <laughs> we'll see about that. Someone help! What's wrong, Lisa? I can't control the boots anymore. What's happening? <gasps> Your boots unzipped. That must be why I can't control them. And Mama Yaga sent me to the swamp. Oh, no. This is all my fault. Hold on, Lisa! We'll save you! <laughs> run, run! Into the swamp where you belong! Ah! Oh, now it's the two of you on the stove! Someone oh. help me! I'll teach you a lesson! First is your boots, then you use your stove to crush my toadstools! Lisa, take my hand! <laughs> Since the race is over, the rescue mission begins now! I'll show you both! Rooney, help me! <laughs> Stubborn shoes! Take them off or we'll end up in the swamp! If you want to be in the swamp so bad, go ahead, but not with us! <clears throat> oh, Rooney, thank you for saving me! Aha! Gotcha! Oh. Now to teach you a lesson! Come on! <laughs> ah. what? what? I'm the one sinking! Girls, what took so long? Why was the flying carpet the only one on time? On top of that, where is the stove? And the seven league boots? Professor, it's my fault. I was in such a hurry that I broke the boot zipper. I didn't tell anyone and put Lisa in danger. I'm sorry. You know, you could have told me, but you saved me from Baba Yaga. So of course I forgive you. And Rooney caught up with the boots. It's all thanks to Rooney's speed. Well, well, it seems that I missed some interesting events. Professor, Baba Yaga is stuck. Remember the purpose of magical transport. It is meant to be used to save those in dire need. That's why we use races for training purposes. Therefore, since you saved Lisa, Rooney will receive the highest grade. Hooray! But if you don't start studying, no extra credit will prevent you from retaking classes. And of course, you must also <laughs> clean up the mess left over from your adventures. Are we all clear? I promise to apply my speed to cleaning up. And I'll also repair the boots and help fix Baba Yaga's garden. Oh, and will you sweep out my heart? <laughs> I didn't clean because of your antics. You can fix the roof, too. And clean the cauldron. And take out the trash. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Virtually impossible. I'm trapped in here! Please help me! Won't somebody please get me out of here? There! This will work well. These bars should hold fine. Good! Cut! Rewind! Show it to me! Playback! Please help me! Won't somebody please get me Freeze out of it. here? Freeze it! This looks better than I'd hoped! You can turn it off now. All right. Let's see what the school schedule looks like. Ah, good. The magical task generator. Tuesday at 12.45. What is today? Uh... 
It's Monday. <laughs> we'll put the girls in our new cell, then make a film and send it to the immortal. The captives will beg him to rescue them. He'll be horrified. I'll have him doing whatever I want. After all, I deserve to be the deputy principal. These books hold the wisdom of generations of wizards. And all you're kicking them about is disrespectful. My kicking them about is the concentration and release of miraculous energy. Yes! Uh. <laughs> all right, girls. That's enough. You know you're wrong. No, I'm not. Right. Girls. No need to argue. Princesses, this is a most ancient of philosophical questions. Which is better, knowledge or harnessing magical energy? For the true wizard, knowledge. It's obvious. Obviously. Your books are boring. Ladies. Sorry, Professor. Now then, regarding today's lesson, your lab project will be provided by the magical task generator. And the assignment will go to... Rooney and Dari, it's a great opportunity for you to resolve your creative dispute. Now then, go to the oak tree. I'll make an entrance to the virtual reality there. You will show me what each of you is capable of. Hmm, just two princesses? I won't be made deputy principal for that. At best, chemistry teacher. Fine, I'll cook something up. He's finally leaving. Hey, are you sleeping? Come here. Give me your claw. Bubble bottle flask. Change Professor Cat's intended task. Hmm. <laughs> now we're hacking, eh? <laughs> the bottle. Let's go. It seems rather strange. Afraid of losing? Gloomy place. For this experiment, that's what you need. Yes! Oh. Want to give it a try? Yes, but my way. How, I wonder? Just a second. Yes, this one. Bind us and wind us. <gasps> well, not too bad. They broke my beautiful bars. Just you wait, brats. Hey, Falcon, Falcon. It's Eagle. Erase that footage. The professor could have given us a harder task. It's like kid stuff. More like baby stuff. I don't get it. Cool. Huh? This virtual Baba Yaga looks like the real thing. I am the real thing. Oh, cool. It can talk, too. <laughs> <laughs> Look how daring you've become. Daria, chop the spell, quick. <laughs> What's wrong? Has the cat got your tongue? <laughs> no. It shrinks back just as tight. <laughs> Can't fix it with your... Uh, yeah. I'm in charge now. Hmm. Professor? Someone tampered with the settings of my assignment and I can't log into my account. Allow me. Yes, I see. It must be Baba Yaga. Oh, the princesses need us. Hurry! <sighs> and girls, you are not to leave. Get your camera ready! I'm going to give them a fright! Hey, stop crying! Beg me to set you free at once! <gasps> what? I should try your spell? How did that spell go again? Something like brined onion or a... Uh... Ah! Bind us on this! <laughs> bind us on bind us? Why aren't you girls afraid of me? Hey, you! Us unwind us. Ah! Hey, Hut! Stop recording! You cursed little bookworms! <laughs> Doria, stop her! Take a deep breath and feel the energy, then push the energy out! <laughs> you can't do it! Don't try if you don't know how! Concentrate! It's only you, your intentions, and your power! <laughs> <laughs> We did it! We passed the level! Doria! Rooney! Right Is everything okay? Professor, what could possibly go wrong? This was a simulation. Everything is just fine. A brilliant lesson. A perfect Papa Yaga copy. A simulation? A copy? But girls, everything that happened was real. 
Real? Real? Yes. Now, what about your philosophical question? Answered. We learned that a wizard needs both books and power. Now I'll take magical gym class more seriously. And I have spells to study. They can be pretty useful. <laughs> <laughs> Vision 3. world's coolest game, Vision 3. My brothers have sent it to me from home. They already have the latest version. What? There's a mission sent who? Welcome to Vision 3. You too can be a great wizard right now. Be a great wizard tomorrow. Tonight it's time to sleep. Save the prince from an enchanted castle. Cool. Level 1, the Jolly Jester Corridor. Want to have some fun? Great job navigating those tiles. You are a great wizard! Rooney, stop that! Can you please turn it down? Rooney, it's breakfast time. Come on, Al made us fruit pudding. Bonus level! <sighs> That's okay, I've got my own fruit here on the bonus level. <laughs> Agility bonus! Mm. All right, you stupid spiderweb. Think you're going to entangle me? You're no <laughs> match for this great wizard. <laughs> <laughs> ah, looks like you're just playing a game. Rooney, come with us. Daria found an ancient scroll in the library. It's a spell for a triple force field. Let's go give it a try. My force field in the game is stronger. The ancient hall's beautiful protective web is no match for you. You're a great wizard. Oh, you bet I am. Come on, let's get to the next level. Excellent jump. You're a great wizard. Even great wizards need to eat sometimes to maintain their greatness, uh -oh. you know. You've been playing that for two days now. <gasps> Rooney, where'd you go? I'm inside the game! Well, you better get out of there. I don't know how. The watchtower ravens. I can't move on my own. Press the up arrow. Now down. Up, down, down, up. <sighs> Rooney, are you okay? I'm fine, but I think there's something wrong with the game. We have to tell the Immortal before someone else ends up in the game, too. Or escapes from the game. <gasps> oh, what's our Raven? It's guarding the game. <gasps> then let's defeat it together. Player two has joined. The Jolly Jester Corridor. It's level one. Okay, if the tile you're on blinks, jump to another one so you don't fall into a deep pit. My kind of game. But this part is so simple. One, two, and we jump. Yesterday I finished this level on my first try. It's not a game anymore, is it? It feels so real. Huh? Really? Uh, this level is so simple, huh? Well, I didn't sleep much. Of course you didn't. Not with that game. A web? Yeah, it's the second level. We need to run through it with a force field activated. I've already done this. It's simple. Oh, uh, well, it was when I played it. Got it. Pay attention, Rooney. One shield, two shield, three shield, force field. Yeah. One shield, two shield, three shield. Then what? <laughs> oh, stupid web. How do I break it? Hmm, there's a button combo for that. But there aren't any buttons here. I'm going to end this level. <laughs> Rooney, we did it! <laughs> the Royal Turbo Carpet. It's got alchemic engines. The bonus level. You grab coins from the ravens. Let's grab the whole game. Game 
that's what I'd call an adventure. Better than any game. I remember playing Vision 1 back in the day. The ravens were afraid of me. That was fun. Here is where the partition between worlds opened up, and everything fell right out of the game. You can play, but don't forget your schoolwork. Or forget to eat. Welcome to Vision 3. You too can be a great wizard right now. Yeah, been there, done that. But I wouldn't have made it through a single level without Daria. Oh. I'd better go practice force fields. I want to be a great wizard for real, and not just a vision of one. Reflections. <laughs> Rooney, not so fast. What about your bed? <sighs> Why bother making it? I'll sleep in it again tonight. Lisa, we're going to be late. Doria, come on. I can't go out looking like this. You have natural beauty, but you must work for knowledge. Wake up, sleepyhead. Oh, just one more minute. Class starts late today. Sleeping too much isn't good for you. Who made you in charge of sleeping? <laughs> She's right! Stop ordering us around! You're bossy! Well, clearly without me you would all oversleep. Then you'd be late and your grades would suffer. That's quite enough, girls. We're friends. Helen, you're letting them off easy. They'll never learn any discipline that way. How can we forget? You know what? I want a new classmate. One who isn't bossy. Someone nicer. Fine then. Maybe I would be better off too. <gasps> with other princesses. You're better off changing yourselves. I was only trying to help them improve, and yet this is how they treat me. <gasps> huh? What's this? Oh, a mirror. Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Let me out of here immediately! <laughs> I cannot, because I didn't send you in there. Who did? Your friends. They wished for a new classmate to replace you. And awakened an ancient magic, and that's how I got here. <laughs> and soon I'll replace them with my own friends, like you asked. Lucky you! <gasps> Enough! I mustn't look in the mirror anymore. Time for us to catch your friends. Girls! I'm sorry for my horrible behavior. But I've changed. <gasps> I'll be the kind of friend you wanted. <gasps> Let's have some fun. <laughs> oh no, how clumsy. Don't worry, I'll get it. You're a mess. Look. Thank you so much. Look at this place. It's nothing like inside the mirror, but I feel too lazy to play. Rooney, are you all right? You look tired. I feel fine. I just want to relax. Look what Doria and I found outside. Oh, wow. You should wear it. Thank you. Look how nice it is. Ah, now I can take this crown off. I simply can't stand all these shiny things. Girls! What's wrong? I had a horrible nightmare. It was like we were replaced. It was terrifying. It was only a dream. Look, see for yourself. <laughs> Hello, my friends. Let's go have fun. Shh. We can't play yet. We still have to replace Helen. Then we can do anything we want. Or we can even do nothing at all. Just don't look into the mirror, or we'll be switched back again. Oh. Well then, let's replace Helen. Huh? Hmm. Hooray! It's hide and seek! My favorite! First to find Helen wins! <sighs> to get the cows back, I have to get the imposters to look into the mirror again. There! <sighs> 
Yoo-hoo! Where are you? We just want to play. Huh? Hmm. I know you're in there. <gasps> Rooney, you're back. Thank you for helping me out. What about the others? Do you have a plan? In there. We've got the mirror. Now we just need to show it to the others. There she is. Oh, Lisa. Yes, we did it. <laughs> <laughs> I missed you. Thank you for saving me. We can't celebrate yet. Daria needs us. Where is she? She's getting away! Not yet! Toma, hold up the mirror! But where's Daria? We were the ones who wished for this! We wanted a different Daria! And it was our fault! What do we do now? Hey you, Mira! Give Daria back! We only want our Daria! Give her back! You know, girls, I treasure you so very much. Thank you for saving me. I don't want any other classmates. I only want <laughs> you. Forget me not. Did you forget about the exam? I'm coming! What a pain. Oh, great. Our game's ruined. Uh. Mm. You too? I was gonna study later anyway. It's just on magical trees. How hard could it be? Oh, that's the book? Magical Trees, an introductory course. Eternal apple trees, they always bear fruit. Ah, candy trees, tree of knowledge. Oh dear. Right, what else does it say? The forget-me-nut, an endangered species with small blue flowers. Huh, that's funny. I saw some blue flowers today. Does that mean we have one of these trees? The nut improves memory and makes it possible to store massive amounts of knowledge. Of knowledge! Archie, that's exactly what we need! I could memorize everything. Now, where's that nut? It's my only hope! Hmm... I'll eat it up and get an A for sure. Only one nut falls every hundred years. Therefore, it is extremely important as a counter to the forgetfulness spell. Hmm. No fair. I found the nut, so 100 years or not, it's mine. Suppose trouble will fly in if I don't get lunch ready soon. But what for dessert? Oh, walnut pie. That's what I'll make. Well, what about raspberries? Oh, no. Walnuts are perfect. Vitamins, micronutrients. Want to help? The magic one has to be here. Oh, what a wall. 
donuts are empty. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Well, no matter. Raspberry it is. Archie, are you still mad at me? It's just, I have to pass that exam, no matter what. It's the immortal's favorite subject. Anyway, you can't memorize that book in just one night. I know. I'm doomed. Good, Daria. Perfect. Now, who's next? You can do it, Rooney. Don't be afraid. Uh. <laughs> it's the forget-me-not. Princess Rooney, is something the matter? Aren't you ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. The forget-me-not is a tree with pale blue flowers. It blooms year-round. Its fruit helps you memorize things. Rooney, excuse me. Ah, a very rare occurrence. And it just happens to match your topic. So let's continue this exam outside, shall we? But sadly, only one nut grows every hundred years, so it's very rare. Excellent, Rooney. You've earned a top grade all around. That 100-year wait is now over. Ta-da! Oh! <gasps> Enter. What is it? Mr. Immortal, I have to confess. I tricked you. The nut you've got is not the magic one. I ate the magic one because I wanted an A, but it didn't work. Rooney, I'm very glad that you found the courage to confess. I'm proud of you. Well done. But that nut is gone. No. How? This nut isn't the magic one. How could it show up in the tree again? Archie has returned the nut. Hooray! Archie, save the nut! From me. Mr. Immortal, I promise I will never do this again. Can I retake the exam? <laughs> of course, but no shortcuts this time. <laughs> Midnight Magic <gasps> Ooh, is it a new spell? I'm not sure yet. What do you think it could be? We must find out. <gasps> it's a giant piece of candy. Uh -huh. It's not candy, Rooney. You see? It's a frame for photographs from a sea trip. Oh, you're both wrong. It's not candy or a frame. This is a giant gemstone. I'm sure of it. I know a thing or two about gems. A gemstone shaped like this is called a princess cut. Well, in that case, this could be a spell to create gemstones. That's what it has to be. I agree. Let's make gemstones. I want a giant one as big as my notebook. Mm -hmm. As big as a pot. A teapot. Daria, what are you waiting for? The perfect setting. It's very important that the spell is cast in the right place at the right time. Of course, and I think the right time is now. Let's see what the directions say. In between two days, in a very special place. A place where the walls have knowledge. What does that even mean? In a place where the walls have knowledge. Hmm. Sounds like the library. Uh, between two days must mean at the stroke of midnight. Hmm. Can we do it earlier? We're not allowed to stay up till midnight. Well, then maybe we could sneak out just before midnight. <laughs> what about Archie? If he saw we were gone, he'd go tell Mr. Immortal. Mr. Immortal, look what Archie just showed me. This is a ghost chessboard. It was a gift he got on his birthday. Hmm, beautiful, isn't it? And convenient, too. The pieces move themselves. You don't even have to touch them at all. <laughs> and do they think on their own as well? We'll see. Archie needs to check on the girls. In the meanwhile, we can play a game if you'd like to. And then Archie can play whoever wins. Right. 
What is at A2? The King's Pawn, Mr. Immortal. Well, then go ahead. What are you waiting for? I'm so tired of that noise. Wish it would stop. We're going to end up with headaches all day tomorrow. He's gone, it worked. Woo! Yeah! Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> 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 I'm worried. I hope Archie's all right. All your clones out there might frighten him. You can't scare a ghost. Archie's the scary one. Ooh. On this night, with the timing just right, the darkness we oppose. Shine the light, gemstone bright, and clear away the shadows. Oh, how beautiful it is. Would it be all right if I take a little piece of it? Dorma, of course not. We can't destroy it. I know, I'm just kidding. We couldn't anyway. Look how hard that stone is. Actually, gemstones only appear to be hard. If you crack their weak spot or flaw, they fall apart easily. See? I told you, I know a thing or two about gems. What's going on, Mr. Immortal? I don't know. Well, that's interesting, because I'd have your queen in two more moves. Professor, I have nothing to do with it. Something's gone wrong. Let's go. What do we do with it? We can hang it in our dormitory and admire it. Hey, what are those thingies? Oh, looks like a ghost chess set. Archie's. But why is it in there? It's stuck inside the gemstone and can't get out. I've got it. This spell is typically used to clear a place of ghosts. So then basically, this is a trap for ghosts. Good thing we sent Archie out into the woods. Otherwise... <gasps> no! Go away! Archie, go now! Doria, do something fast! I don't know how! We smashed it in time. Well done, Dorma. Sorry, Archie. Girls, there you are. What are you doing up at this hour? Hmm. It's a trap for ghosts. Well, fancy that. I thought we destroyed all these spells. We got rid of every copy when we employed Archie. Isn't that true? That's what I recall. But perhaps one of the copies survived. You know how hard they try to escape. Not this time. So the question remains. Who among you cast this spell? I did, Mr. Immortal. No, not just Doria. We all did it together. We hope you'll forgive us, sir. I admire your curiosity and your desire to try things out for yourselves. But you gave Archie quite a fright. Uh-huh. So a ghost can be scared after all. Let's hope you've learned your lesson. In the future, don't cast a spell unless you know what it is for. We will bring it to you first. Wherever you are. And we won't try to cost it. Very good, well done. Tomorrow, we will go through every book in the library. Then, we'll make sure there definitely aren't any more loose spells hanging about. But Mr. Immortal, today is Saturday. And tomorrow is Sunday. So you girls will have all day long to complete the task, won't you? <laughs> School Secret. Magical buildings come in all shapes and sizes. And each and every one has its own unique secret. It might be a portal in a wardrobe or perhaps in the chimney. It could even be a magical hidden room. There are many possibilities. Allow me to show you in this image. Says you at their see, school, they had a we've covered all of the basics. Too, huh? Your homework will be to write a report on a magical building. Yes? Then that will be all for today, class. <laughs> Ahem! Have you forgotten? It's one of our most important rules. Tell your first, then you shall be free. 
These textbooks should help us a lot with our report. 1001 Labyrinths. Secret rooms and those who live what there. What is your basement hiding? Why don't we study our own school? Surely we have secrets of our own. The boys' school had one, so why not? We had an entire secret room. Ugh. With a minotaur. You had a minotaur? We did. He's our principal, and that room was where he graded our homework. Remember the attic with the ghost rock band? Doom, doom, doom. Ghost, oh, ghosty, fly away. Oh, yeah. See? I bet we have tons of stuff like that here. Who wants to do the report on our school then? Say on. They're called secrets for a reason. You could spend the whole time searching only to find nothing. We're still going to try. How should we begin? Where do schools usually hide their secrets? Well, the Minotaur's room was connected to the library. What about the cafe? Then we could make some tea. We should check in the hallway. There's a cold draft in there that always makes me shiver. Couldn't that come from a secret passageway? Why don't we split up then? We can cover more ground. The Minotaur's room could be opened up by pulling on a particular book. But which is the correct one? Well, that depends. Ours is on the very top shelf. Ah, this one. Uh, uh, everything's okay. Uh, everything's fine. Uh. Oh, well. I guess there is no portal here after all. In fairy tales, magical creatures get into houses through the fireplace. Maybe there's a portal here in our chimney. And there could also be a dangerous creature hiding in there. Ah! Don't be afraid. I will protect us. I'm not afraid. I just didn't expect it. Hey, who else is there? Come out. <coughs> <coughs> no portal there. It's all clean. <laughs> uh-huh. It couldn't be cleaner. Looks like no secret passages here. Let's go look in the classroom. <laughs> What's going on? How do we get out of here? I'll handle this. I don't understand. This invisible wall wasn't here before. Then let's try to remove the spell. May this barrier disappear so we can all get out of here. It's still there. Let me try. Snares, tricks, and booby traps make them all collapse. Doria, watch out for the invisible wall! I wonder what that was. Oh dear, <gasps> who took all the paintings off the wall? Well, we were, uh, looking for a secret passage. Rooney, Doria can't see us. But she can see the painting, can't she? Oh, it's a flying painting! Shoo! Oh, show her! Doria, it's us, Rooney and Dorma. We're trapped in the hallway and can't get out. Please help. It's a mess in here, too. What has everyone been doing? Oh, come on. We were just about to start cleaning everything up. Rooney and Dorma are both invisible, but why? Bosco, she can't see us either. There just has to be a book in here somewhere that can help me figure this out. <gasps> Who's there? Helen? Vasco? I need the history of Wondermont School. There must be something in it that will help me undo the spell. Let's look for it together. There it is! Magical characteristics. Aha! Uh -huh. The school does everything it can to aid in lessons. That's all? How is that supposed to help? Helen! Vasco! You can see us! Yay! And we're no longer trapped in the library! Remember the school's rule the professor was talking about? Tidy up first, then, then you shall, shall be free! Now do you see? We found out that if someone makes a mess, the school doesn't let them leave the room. It makes them invisible, so they can't be distracted from cleaning. And that is the secret of your, I mean, our school. I don't understand. Why hasn't this happened to us before? 
There was never a problem keeping things tidy before. But in pursuit of secrets, you crossed the line somewhat. As for the report, everyone gets an A. Well done. Oh, yes. That is all for today. Don't forget to take your books along with you. Hmm, what bright students they are. So quick to catch on, too.